Now on this channel we always review the best of tuner cars and those tuner cars are also enthusiast cars but what if I tell you the car that we're reviewing today isn't all about the power, the engine and everything. It's the whole package. This over here is the E90 330i M Sport, a very rare car to find over here in India and today I want to tell you about one of my childhood dream cars. So let's get on to it. So first off, let's get on to the looks. Now you must be thinking what is so special about a normal E90 330i? Well, I think so the 2010 era of BMWs have to be one of the prettiest BMWs that have ever been produced. Let's start off with the front. At the front, since this is the M Sport variant, you get a little bit more of an aggressive bumper and you get those iconic angel headlights with the kidney grille which is the perfect size not like the latest GAT series where it's just a massive massive imposing grille come to the side it's the perfect three box design shape in my opinion a long bonnet in the front a fairly compact body and a short overhang at the rear and once you come to the rear again being the M Sport variant this over here is a little bit different compared to the normal 330i and you get a dual exit exhaust setup I think this does not come in the M Sport package this carbon fiber bootlet spoiler but definitely it's a very sweet looking mod in terms of the design now this is the LCI model it is not the old uh, E90 330i so the headlights and tail lights are a little bit more updated so is the interior you get the newer version of the iDrive the newer steering so you get a couple of more tech bits inside this car which are not there in the pre LCI model so it's not that old where it's completely ancient and you don't have anything like Bluetooth or anything like that in fact it has a pretty good uh, rear parking sensor uh, setup so yeah definitely a really nice pick for all of you enthusiasts out there now this particular car is finished in beautiful alpine white with the m sport kit and the owner mr jayant who runs engineering exponent claims that this car in this particular spec with the alpine white and the m sport kit is apparently one out of 16 in india now mr cyrus dabber from power drift disagrees with this claim while other sources agree with it so we will keep this up for everyone's interpretation and prediction but this particular spec with white and the beautiful tan leather seats is just eye candy and moreover this particular example of e90 in general is probably one of the cleanest cars we have ever seen now we will get on to the engine and please bear with us because the lighting of the video is drastically going to change yep what a fantastic looking car but now let's get on to the real spaghetti and meatballs which is right over here underneath the hood one of the greatest engines ever built by BMW at least for a production car this is the N52 3 liter straight 6 engine and this has to be one of the nicest engines ever made I mean first of all this is not an M car or anything like that it's a normal engine basically it's not built for performance it's not a specialist engine like most other engines built by BMW's M performance division it's a 3 liter naturally aspirated state 6 like I said so in the normal non M Sport version this thing makes 255 horsepower but since this is the M Sport variant it gets 272 horsepower which is more than enough for our Indian roads over here the other thing is this is not a stock engine currently it has a couple of mods here and there which have been fitted by the boys over at engineering exponent over here this is a BMW M Sport carbon fiber intake and it is running a stage one remap from Wolf Motor Performance. So combine both of those things together and probably this thing will be scraping 300 horsepower or something like that. But the horsepower figures are definitely not what you should be looking at when you're buying a car like this. This thing is all about the way it feels when you're driving it. So let's hop into the driver's seat. I think I'm just gonna cry. I, this is one of my childhood dream cars. Let's just hop in and see how it is. And the analog goodness continues. This over here is a 2010 BMW key. And I mean, I just love the starting sequence of this car. You just take the key, slot it into this slot over here. The car comes to life. It has a start-stop button. Press the brake pedal. 
and the 3 liter straight 6 comes to life. I'm very excited to drive this car. Let's get on to the road. So like I said, this is the N52, 3 liters of straight 6 symphony. This is a production car with a 3 liter straight 6 introduced back in like I guess 2008 or 2009 and yeah the E90 is one of the classics now it doesn't get much better than this when it comes to sports sedans and in my opinion the E90 is probably one of the last great 3 series that has ever come out which is not an M car because the newer 330i and even the 340 for the matter of fact is now turbocharged <laughs> and I think so the E90 330i is one of the last great non-M3 series that you can buy in the used car market of course you can't get this thing new anymore because let's be honest as much as turbocharging and everything gives you that extra boost in performance there's something special about a naturally aspirated engine and the feel that this E90 330i gives you I'm telling you, no other 3 series, no other car can replicate that same feeling. It is a masterpiece of a car. And the way it just builds power, it's amazing. And it sounds, oh my god, sounds too good. And this thing is no normal E90 330i. This is the full-on M Sport kitted out car. So it gets the special bumpers, it gets the special wheels, it gets the M steering. I guess it has a, a different suspension setup compared to the normal 330i. And well, yeah, it's an amazing car. And considering the fact that you can get these cars now for around the 10 lakh rupee mark, this is a bargain of a sports sedan. Yes, your Loras and your Octavia 1.8s are great, but if you want a sports sedan which has the driving dynamics of a proper rear wheel drive machine, and let's be honest, BMW is the master of sports sedans. Your Audis, your Mercedes, and all of those cars don't even compare to the way a BMW goes down the road. That's how good BMWs are. Let's not play around on that fact. And the 330i, it's basically the best of all worlds if you think about it. A naturally aspirated straight 6 engine which makes an amazing noise. You have compact dimensions, rear wheel drive. Yeah, this is the full package. What a noise! What a car, what a car. Moreover, Engineering Exponent has worked on this car. It's no stock car because, I mean, Engineering Exponent, those guys are just crazy. So, currently, it's running a Wolf Moto Performance Stage 1 tune. It has the M Performance Carbon Fiber Intake and a couple of more bits here and there. For all of you tuner boys out there, this is not the car for you because the 330i's N52 is not the most tuner friendly engine and like most naturally aspirated engines you can't really get too much power out of a naturally aspirated block so don't expect this thing to make insane power numbers or anything like that but come on man <laughs> just listen to this thing it sounds so good the steering wheel is so precise so direct And this stage 1 tune definitely helps with the throttle mapping and everything. I'm currently in manual, but yeah, I mean, this is one of the classics now. But nothing can be perfect and the 330i has its own shortcomings in various different little, little ways. First of all, this gearbox is not the greatest out there. It's quite laggy, it doesn't have a lot of response or feel to it and definitely a manual transmission with this would be the dream for most motoring enthusiasts. Apart from that, well, it's a BMW so maintenance and all of that stuff is going to be on the higher side. So if even if you can pick this car up for around 10 to 11 lakh rupees or something around that price bracket, keep in mind that it's still a BMW at the end of the day. So 
maintaining it all of the parts and everything are going to be BMW levels so don't expect to cheap out on the maintenance and servicing bit for this car now this definitely isn't a car for you tuner boys out there it's not like your Octavia 1.8 TSI Laura 1.8 TSI or anything with a turbocharger basically because it's a naturally aspirated car so if you're looking to push big amounts of power well that's not gonna happen but what it is is it's an amazing sports sedan I don't think it gets much better than this first of all it's budget friendly because you can pick these up like I said for 10 to 11 10 to 15 lakhs is the price bracket that you should be looking at for a mint condition one but if you really want to go hardcore on this car you can do it but you of course need the money to do uh, to go all ham on it you get an ESS supercharger kit for this car which comes for around 5 lakh rupees and at 7 psi boost with the supercharger kit this uh, N52 engine can make approximately 430 horsepower but that hasn't been done in India yet or nothing that I've heard of about that setup so hopefully this is going to be one of the first cars in India to get that setup and definitely we'll be covering that once it happens so stay tuned for that video thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to our channel go check out engineering exponent and wolf motor performance to know more about their amazing builds like this uh, subscribe to the channel comment down below what you think about the e93 30i and what will you buy instead if you don't want to go for this particular car comment down below and i'll catch you in the next one